The last dish we're gonna do for you is an Asian-inspired Unan noodle salad. Uh, great, wonderful ingredients. Um, very, very simple marinade, very simple uh, dressing. And the dressing is very similar. If you've ever gone to a Asian tapenyaki restaurant or a Japanese um, hibachi restaurant, and you get that salad, it's the same flavor profiles that are on there. It's a carrot ginger salad, has a little bit of miso. Miso is a uh, fermented soybean paste, very sweet, salty, good, well-rounded flavor, excellent for marinating proteins and for this use for the dressing itself. Little garlic, a little bit of sesame oil, and water. The good thing about the uh, recipe that we're doing today is very, very low in saturated fats, very un a lot of unsaturated fats in the sesame oil and the canola oil that we're doing. So first I'm gonna to put together the salad dressing itself. The base of the dressing is the carrot. Do a real rough chop on there because we are gonna put all of the ingredients together in the blender. And what's really nice about this particular recipe is the carrot itself adds the body without having to add too much oil into the recipe. Add our carrots. And then all the ingredients go in. Our miso, ginger, sesame oil, rice wine vinegar, and water. And we're just gonna turn the food processor or the blender on until we get a nice creamy Perfect. And we're going to transfer it into our dish. And we'll hold that until the rest of the recipe is done. Give it a little taste. Perfect. Well balanced. A nice bit of sweetness, saltiness, and a little bit of the acid from the rice wine vinegar. Now we're going to put together the salad itself. And this is a combination of a cold and cooked salad. And then the ingredients get chilled. So first our saute pan goes on the fire. And again, as I said in, a pre in the previous recipe, you gotta start with high heat. It's the only way to get foods to cook properly for you. We're gonna use a splash of canola oil. Make sure that pan gets nice and hot. We're gonna add button mushrooms and we're gonna add shiitake mushrooms. Shiitake mushrooms are an Asian mushroom. They're much spongier in texture than a traditional button mushroom. Very, very meaty. You wanna make sure that you do take the stems off of the shiitake mushrooms because they're almost inedible, very, very tough to chew. We're gonna add our shiitake mushrooms in. Give it a nice little toss. For this particular dish, we don't need to caramelize the mushrooms all the way through and cook them all the way through because of the other ingredients that we're actually adding in and they'll um, cook through once we add a moisture or the chicken stock in. We're gonna add our shelled edamame. Very, very popular item nowadays. Edamame is uh, soybean. A lot of times you see them in the supermarket with the shell still on. Um, or you can get them shelled. Real, real great high protein item. Give it a nice little toss. Gonna add our broccoli in. And you'll notice that the vegetables are not pre-cooked. The broccoli has not been pre-blanched or put into hot water and then cooled down. And the same thing with our sugar snap peas. Those are not pre-cooked either because we're gonna continue to cook this dish with a low sodium chicken stock. We're gonna give these a couple of minutes to cook, bring the flavors out. Now we're gonna add a very low sodium chicken stock. You wanna add, use a low sodium chicken stock in this particular dish so that we don't impart too much unnecessary sodium because there's great flavors in the dishes themselves and the ingredients. 
How about that one? And as you can see, we, got, we created instant steam, so now those vegetables will actually cook. If we would have pre-cooked the vegetables prior to adding the chicken stock in, they would have ended up getting too soft, and we want to maintain that crisp vibrancy of the vegetable. So we'll let this cook for two minutes. Now we have our udon noodle. What I'm actually using here is a buckwheat soba noodle. You can use an udon noodle. What you want to do with these is you want to pre-boil them. Just like a traditional pasta, two to three minutes inside boiling water, you want to strain it out, you want to cool it down. If you don't cool the pasta um, after it's cooked, what you'll end up getting is a very, very starchy um, feel to them. So what you're going to do for your soba noodles is you're going to place it into boiling water. You're going to cook it for approximately 8 to 10 minutes until the desired doneness is done, just like a traditional pasta. Then you'll strain it and you'll cool it down so that it doesn't continue to cook. This is what it would actually look like in a supermarket when you get it. It's in the Asian section of the supermarket. We're going to transfer these udon noodles into our large bowl. Check on our vegetables. Perfect. We're going to season our vegetables with kosher salt, our cracked black pepper. We're going to finish it off with some spring onions. And we're going to turn the fire off because we want to maintain that crispness of the vegetables. Give it a nice mix. And now we're going to move the vegetables into the udon noodles. Give it a nice toss. Much easier to toss it into a mixing bowl than trying to toss all these ingredients together in a saute pan. Half of it would end up being on the floor if you tried to mix it that way. Bring all the ingredients together and chill it in a refrigerator for approximately two hours until all the ingredients have an opportunity to blend together and it's completely cooled. All right, now we've got our chilled noodle salad. And to plate it, again using the plate as that beautiful backdrop, some of the noodles. Make sure you get some of the beautiful vegetables. The broccoli, the snap peas, some of the mushrooms, a nice piece of grilled Asian marinated chicken, and last but not least, our carrot ginger dressing. A little on the chicken, a little on the plate for decoration and for flavor. A little cleanup, and there you have. So let's talk about what we actually prepared today. We did three different marinades. We did a Latin chimichurri, we did an Asian, and we did a Mediterranean inspired. All with very, very low fat, good fat, because we used extra virgin olive oil and sesame oil. And we showed you three different spring inspired salads, a bean, a jicama black bean and corn, and a wonderful Asian inspired udon noodle salad. And the great thing about what we prepared was the versatility of the marinades and the proteins that the same salmon can be marinated for the udon noodle salad and the, the tofu can actually be used for the jicama salad. So what we really wanted to showcase for you was the total versatility of the marinades, the total versatility of the salads, and then the versatility and the healthy benefits of each of the items.